Hey guys, it's Molly. Tonight I wanted to try to get the same effect as the Artist Loft Ready Pour paints. So they dry really glossy. They have almost a translucent effect to them where the colors overlay each other and they get no cells when you pour them. So when I use silicone, um, silicone, when I use Floetrol, a lot of times I will get kind of these stretching cells that I don't like when the paints mix together. I want to try to not get those tonight. So I've kind of been on a mission for no cells. Um, so I'm using, actually they're kind of expensive products. I'm using Liquitex pouring medium, gloss medium and varnish, and I'm using Liquitex high gloss varnish um, instead of water to thin them out. So we'll see what happens. I'll get you down on the canvas. Hey guys. All right, so I have been on a quest to try to create a pouring medium that is similar to the Artist Loft Ready Mixed paints so that I can make them the consistency that I want but still have them dry with kind of that glossy finish, some of the translucence. So this is a different pouring medium for me today. It is, um, I'm not going to pour while I talk because then I lose my entire train of thought. It is... Um, Liquitex high gloss varnish. So this is an expensive actually pouring medium. Uh, Liquitex pouring medium. And my creative inspirations, uh, gloss medium and varnish. And then um, if it needed to be thinned down any more, I would just add a little bit more high gloss varnish because it's very liquidy. So I'm gonna do a wrecker ring pour and I will see how this comes out. Now my colors were inspired by Mixed Media Girl, actually. Um, she did a really beautiful recording pour, um, I think it was last week, and I really, really loved the color combination that she had in there. It had like a tropical feel to it, and I really, really liked that. So uh, I'll link her channel below in the description so that you guys can check her out and show her some love. Gotta give other artists love too, you know? Okay, so I have no idea if this is gonna work or how it's gonna turn out. Let me get my, um, I want a torch now. Okay, so you don't want to torch, you want to torch really fast over if there is gloss medium in here, you want to do it really fast because it will scorch the paint and create like a crust if you don't. Oh, I see a couple more. Okay, so what I'm hoping for is that I don't get any cells in here. And I'm also hoping... Um, to see if there's any translucent effects and then I'll see how it dries. So that's really what I'm going for. I love the colors. I've been kind of staying out of the middle of my... I'll go, whoop, just kidding. I went right through the middle of that one. Okay, never mind. Kind of squished it up in there, but it's kind of cool still. I guess I'm gonna go for a lot of lines in this one, huh? I don't wanna to mix too much and then I'll end up with just like a green painting. I really love the orange and that kind of magenta color and the aqua on this side. All right, let's see what happens. So by using my own pouring medium, I was able to make it a little bit, oh, I've got a blob, let me get that out. Okay, that was a whole blob of orange paint that was there, but you gotta get them out now because if you start stretching and they're there, then I know these lines are already wonky, but they'll be really wonky. So with Floetrol, once I stretch it, I start getting all these cells that I just don't, I don't want. So, oh my gosh, the outer part of this, I knew that was gonna happen. The outer part of this, I am in love with. The inner part of it, a lot of it is blue. Now I'm kind of stretching all crazy here, you guys, because I'm just talking to you, but 
it's really important to pay attention to how you stretch for what's what design you're going to get. A lot of people, when I do my private classes, a lot of people um, just aren't stretching. I don't want to say correctly, but really, it's there's no correct way to stretch per se. I'm just trying to straighten this little part out right here. Oh, cool. Okay. I've got something that's happening right here. I don't know what that is, but I may end up stretching it off. <clears throat> so it's not that there's a right or wrong way to stretch, but you know, stretching really fast is, is not going to help your, your design at all. Okay. Now I'm going to go this way. I'm going to bring the paint back to the center of the canvas before I start to go down there so that I can keep most of the design, like I love that design right there, so that I can keep most of that on the canvas. And then I just flip right back up and let it drip down the sides. So that's pretty cool. Very cool. All right, so now as I stretch back this way, hopefully these lines will kind of stretch out a little bit more. Okay, let's get on to stretching to the next side. I actually like the color that, that the green that that yellow ended up making. And I actually have my hand here. I'm going to keep it there so that all that paint doesn't go off that side yet because I want to be able to stretch it to down here. Okay, so I've got that to that side. Now I'm going to, oh my gosh, the sides of these, y'all. This is amazing. When I take you down, Remind me to show you the sides. Okay, last little corner stretch here, and I'll see what happens. It's almost, there, there's something that's happening right here that, that I don't know if the colors broke there or if I torched too long. I'll, I'll show you. It's a very interesting, very weird pattern right there. Okay, so down to this last corner here. And if I like this, then this has a bunch of different applications and it'll be great because you can kind of make your own pouring medium to help um, so that you can get the same qualities of the artist loft, but you can have it in whatever color you want. So that's why I've been trying to do this and you can make it your different consistency as well. Okay, going off that last edge. And that was the perfect amount of paint for that canvas. Yeah, so there's just this one thing that's right here. I am getting the translucence. The lines stayed pretty clear. This looks like a wormhole over here. And then I'll just help this paint along the edge. So. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here for this whole thing. I'll take you in for a close up. So that's what I was talking about on the sides. Those side lines are so freaking cool. Um, okay, so let me see if I can show you. So that is the center. Here is, you can see like that tra the translucent parts that are there. You can see lines underneath lines. This is that part that I was just talking about. I don't know what happened. Oh, look at that one little multicolored cell. It looks kind of like a reptile or something right there, right? So I don't know what that is. No idea, no idea what happened right there. But the rest of this 
is absolutely beautiful. No cells. I just think it turned out just great. I wish this color right here, I used lemon yellow and it's really translucent or transparent. And I think that that's the one that kind of mixed together with the aquas and the blues to make that green. I don't mind it at all. You can see the magenta right there with the orange, really pretty. There's this, the translucent part underneath. I don't know if that's the right thing to call it. But there you go, you guys. I love this piece. So thanks for the color inspiration, Mixed Media Girl. And hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna keep working with it and we'll see, uh, I'll show you guys how it dries and maybe I've got the solution to Artist Loft not having so many colors available. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, you guys, so here it is dry. Look at that center. That is awesome. The lines, they're so crisp and clean. Um, some of the aqua, the yellow and the blue turned into a green, so it turned primarily green. It dried a little bit darker. Look at those lines, so happy. That's that one part right there. But it's not, let me see if you can, it's not broken at all. See, it's, it, it's, there is no crack there. But let me see if I can show you the, uh, how glossy it is. I don't know if you can get a good look there, my dang lighting. But that's my favorite part. Now I know that Liquitex, Liquitex, Artist Loft has their own pouring medium, but I wanna try to make my own so that I can see if I can change any of the properties of it, add stuff, subtract stuff. And it's pretty, while well, this pouring medium was actually kind of expensive to make, um, I think large batch wise, it might be better than buying the small bottle because it would have cost me, I think it's like $15 in the store for this one bottle of pouring medium to do this painting. Um, so I can make smaller parts and use the things that I have instead. So I don't know, just playing around. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Until next time, happy painting. Bye.